Hey everyone, I'm Andy and welcome to another episode of Easy Tiki Drinks. Today on the channel, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the easiest and simplest Mai Tai possible. And I hope it's good because I'm gonna be using a rum that I've never used before. So we're gonna sample that rum first, then we're gonna talk about the history of that rum and the cocktail, and then we're gonna actually make the cocktail and then try it. So stick around to the end to see if this actually pans out the way I hope it does. Fingers crossed. Anyway, let's shake it up. So today on the channel, we're gonna be going over the 1944 recipe for the Mai Tai, and we're gonna be making it in the simplest and easiest way possible. And with that, we're gonna need one bottle of rum, a very specific rum, but one bottle of rum nevertheless. So let's go over what we're gonna to need to build this cocktail. First, rum. Orange liqueur. Orgia. And lime juice. The rum that I'm using is the Denizen Merchant Reserve 8 Year. The orange liqueur is Pierre Ferrand's Dry Curacao. The orgia is homemade and the lime juice is fresh squeezed. So as you can see, only four ingredients to make this cocktail. But as you can see, we're gonna need a very specific rum and that is the Denizen Merchant Reserve 8 Year. Now, I've never tried this rum. This is a brand new bottle, it's not even opened yet. So I'm gonna quickly go over why this rum is so special and then we're gonna taste it and then we're gonna make the cocktail. So the Denizen Merchant Reserve was literally designed for making Mai Tais, specifically like in a bar setting uh, where you're gonna mass produce them on a you know steadily basis, but it works in a home bar just as well. The spirit itself is a blend of rums within the bottle. So instead of blending your own rums, you get to just buy one bottle that's already blended. It's 80% Jamaican pot still rum and 20% Martinique Grand Aroma, Grand Aroma? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's A R. O-M-E, like with the apostrophe over the E. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it right. Can anybody comment below and tell me how to pronounce it because I'm butchering it. Anyway, 20% Martinique Grand Aroma, uh, which is different than the rum agricole that it puts out today. It is a blended rum specifically made for Mai Tais. So let's try this because it does say it could be served neat. I'm gonna try this first and then we're gonna build the cocktail. So first, even just looking at the bottle, um, the color of the spirit is just like a golden hay. The bottle's nice gold and emblazoned, emblazoned, emblazoned uh, with black font and just a nice kind of old timey, it's got that kind of old timey uh, feel to it. There is some history um, of not only Denizen, but this rum in general on the back of it. I'm not gonna read through that because you can just go online uh, and read it for yourself. So let's crack this baby open. As you can see, brand new bottle. Now it's not a cork, which I'm a little disappointed with, but it's okay. So I've got a little snifter glass over here. I'm just gonna pour a little bit. So again, in the glass, it's got kind of like a golden hay color to it. Nose is about the same. A little bit of an ethanol on it now. Now it's got a little chance to breathe, but uh, let's give it a try. definitely got some heat to it. Um, it's 43% ABV, so 86 proof, so not super high. It does have a little bit of heat on it. There's, it's not as funky as, as I was expecting. With an 80% pot still rum, I was expecting a lot more of that Jamaican funk that I'm just not getting. Yeah, it's smooth, very, Caramel, vanilla, a little bit of funk, but I'm, I'm missing that kind of like typical fruit funkiness that you get from a Jamaican rum. Not a very high ester count. So it, it doesn't have those kind of like unique smells to it, which is, again, it's just really surprising with it being an 80% pot still rum. Um, it's good, don't get me wrong, it's a delicious rum. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit more subtle than I was expecting. Uh, so let's get into building this cocktail. Uh, it's only gonna be four ingredients, super simple. We're gonna start with an ounce of lime juice. Half an ounce of orgia.
half an ounce of our orange uh, liqueur, orange curacao. And then two ounces of our Denizen Merchant Reserve. Next, we're gonna add ice to our shaker and whip shake for about five to eight seconds. From here, nice and easy, we're just gonna open pour into our double rocks glass. I'm just gonna top with a little bit more crushed ice. And then for a garnish, we're gonna use a mint sprig. Make sure to give it a little, nice little whack to wake it up. and half of a lime shell. Don't forget your straw. Right next to the mint, by the way, so that you get that. And there you have it. The simplest and easiest version of the 1944 Trader Bricks Mai Tai. Let's give it a try. I almost don't want to give you kind of like my feedback on this until after I go into the history of it, but I will tell you it's good. But I'll give you my tasting notes in a little bit, so stay tuned. So let's go over a little bit of the history of the Mai Tai why this rum is so unique in what it is and and yeah just kind of talk about the original recipe versus this recipe so the original 1944 mai tai was created by trader vic who was originally known as victor bergeron then he opened trader vic's and everyone kind of just called him trader vic the original 1944 recipe called for an ounce of lime a quarter ounce of orgia a quarter ounce of rock candy syrup half an ounce of orange curacao and then two ounces of a 17 year old Ray and Nephew rum. Now, as you can tell, there are a couple more ingredients in that than there are here, which makes perfect sense because I try to slim it down to make it as simple as possible. You'll notice I omitted the rock candy syrup, which is just a rich, simple syrup. We instead upped the Orgia to half an ounce so that we didn't need another bottle. So with that in mind, after the Mai Tai took off, the 17 year old Ray and Nephew rum disappeared, it became extinct. In fact, I think there may be like one or two bottles left in the world uh, owned by collectors. And if I remember correctly, the last time one of them was sold, it sold for like $3 million or something like that. I honestly don't remember. And somebody could will probably quote me in the comments below incorrectly, but that's fine. Once that Ray, that Ray nephew rum ran out, Trader Vic went to a 15 year old Ray nephew. When that started to run out, he started to blend that with a dark Jamaican rum, specifically Caruba or Red Heart. Um, they weren't good rums at the time, they are now. They were simply there to help lengthen out his supply of 15 year old Ray and Nephew. When that started to disappear, he went out and started making his own rum. And so he started creating his own Jamaican rum and then blending that with a Martinique rum. A lot of controversy comes about this Martinique rum. A lot of people say, well, it was, it's not like the Martinique agricole that we get nowadays made from pressed sugar cane. It was more of a molasses based uh, rum, similar to the grand aroma that they're putting, that Martinique is putting out now. One way or another, it doesn't matter. He started blending rums uh, and then down the road blended other rums and then other rums and then other rums. And everyone's basically been trying to recreate this 17 year old Ray and nephew recipe from so many eons ago. You've got Jeff the Beach Bomberry, who basically says that Appleton 12 plus uh, Clement VSOP is the blend that works. You've got other people that say it's a blend of different Jamaican rums with a little bit of Demerara in there because the uh, Martinique rum was similar to Demerara rum back then. At the end of the day, we may never know uh, what the 17 year old Ray Nephew rum really tasted like. And I'm sure even the blend that Trader Vic created down the road tasted different than that. However, the people at Denizen did try to create something that was a pre-blended rum specifically for Mai Tais. The thing is you don't see this blend of Jamaican and, and Martinique rums, whether it's the molasses based or the sugarcane based in many other cocktails. So this is a very unique 
blend of rums for this cocktail itself. And that's what makes the Denizen Merchant Reserve so unique in itself, that it is a blend of rums in and of itself, specifically made for Mai Tais. So instead of going out and buying multiple bottles and having to pour multiple bottles, you've got one single bottle. So let's get to the tasting notes on this Mai Tai. I'm gonna take one more sip. It's super smooth. The rum presents as almost like a caramel, uh, a little bit of oakiness. Again, that funk that you get from typical Jamaicans, I don't get in this. The Orgia, because we did use a half ounce, comes through a lot. You get that almondy flavor, which I think is helping accent kind of that oakiness from the Denizen rum. And then I typically find that the orange liqueur takes a back seat in a lot of Mai Tais. In this, it is actually like right up there. It blends super well with the Denizen to really create that kind of like, almost like caramelized orange flavor out of it. It's really delicious. The most simple Mai Tai that I can possibly make. Four ingredients and that's it. And it's delicious. It's really good. It may not be as complex as some of the other Mai Tais, but listen, if I'm in a hurry and I just want a nice delicious Mai Tai, there's nothing wrong with this at all. It's really good. So anyway, that's it for today's episode. I know it went a little bit longer because we went, kind of did like a tasting of the Denizen before. Um, if you guys enjoy me doing that, kind of like talking about the rum um, and then experiencing it for the first time, please let me know because I'd be more than happy, especially on these Mai Tai episodes where we get to highlight the rum of doing that. I've got a couple of the rums in line that I would love to do this with, but if you enjoy it, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and click that little notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Easy Tiki Drinks. And until next time, take it easy.